hi everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video i'll be showing to you guys on how to position your mermaid skirt pattern on bias braid so this whole tutorial will be dedicated about bias cutting or how to cut your fabric on bias so let's get started this is the actual pattern of the skirt i have a detailed tutorial of this you can check the link on the description first draw your green lines a pattern so this is a half scale perspective yung purpose ng ating green line will be the guideline kung paano natin siya iposition sa ating bias green so, importante na may green line yung pattern natin. So, the red line is the green line. So, it should be parallel to CF or CD line. This is an example of woven fabric. So, usually, Ang woven fabric wala siyang stretch. So warp and weft grain wala siyang stretch. Ito yung definition ng bias cut from business of fashion. It's more elastic and fluid in movement helps accentuate body lines and curves and drapes softly. Yung front pattern natin is cut on fold. So you have to fold the fabric diagonally para makuha natin yung bias frame. So it's folded in diagonal way or in 45 degree angle. For the back pattern, I'll be using ruler as a guide para dun sa ating bias line. So, position nyo lang yung ruler sa 45 degree angle and then match the grain line mark or yung grain line. Pin in place the pattern and it's ready for cutting. So this footage is the actual pattern in the fabric. An entire garment cut on the bias will drape and cling to the body, which makes gorgeous evening dresses and lingerie. Because the bias is the diagonal direction, it means that stripes and plaids cut on the bias will turn into diagonal patterns. This can be used as a design detail for yokes, pockets, cuffs, or collars. It's not necessary to put darts on the garment if it's cut on bias. But it's my personal preference for this tutorial to keep the darts. Just close the dart on the pattern pieces if you want it to be dartless before cutting it on the fabric. After closing the dart, we can now close the center back seam and of course, we're gonna leave the zipper placement open. So, ang sewing allowance ko for the center back is 1.5 to 1 inch. After closing the center back, we can now piece together the front and back side seams so we have one each sewing allowance for the side seams
Finally, we can now attach the bias skirt sa ating bodies. So, the sewing allowance here is one half. And this is our final look. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope you learned something new from this quick tutorial about bias cut. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with all of your friends and I'll see you next time.